Okay, magandang buhay, students of Don Vicente Rama Memorial National High School. So today's lesson is actually all about finding the end term of the geometric sequence. So let's have an example. So how do we solve from the indicated term of the given geometric sequence? So, say for example, I have here a sub 7 of 3, 6, 12. So, we are going to solve for the a sub 7. So, let's have, let's now get the info from this given here. So, with this a sub 7, our end is 7, while the first term is equals to 3. And the R is unknown. So how do we get the R? So to get the R is we divide this 6 here by the 3. So 6 divided by 3 is actually equals to 2. Now, so we will be using now the geometric sequence formula A sub N is equal to A sub 1 R to the power of N minus 1. So take note, we are going to solve for the a sub 7. So using the n formation, n is equal to 7, a sub 1 is equal to 3, and r is equal to 2. So that means we are going to substitute the value of a sub 1, the r, as well as the n here. So substituting a sub n to the a sub 7, so your a sub 1 is 3, r is 2, and the exponent n there is 7. So next is we are going to subtract 7 from 1. What is 7 minus 1? That is actually 6. Okay, so next we will not multiply the 3, 2, but rather we are going to get the 2 to the power of 6. So what is 2 to the power of 6? And that is 64. So 3 times 64, the answer is 192. So that means that the a sub 7 is actually 192. Okay, so another example. So we are going to solve for the a sub 6 from the given sequence 480, negative 240, 120, and so on and so forth. So here, from the info, our n is actually 6. So that is taken from the a sub 6. While the first term is 480 and the ratio is still unknown. So to solve for the ratio, we divide the negative 240 by the first term, that is 480. So negative 240 divided by 480, so that is simply equals to the negative 1 half. So this time, we are now going to use the geometric sequence formula. That is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 r to the power of n minus 1. So we are going to substitute the value of a sub 1, the r here, and the n here, substituting our a sub n by the a sub 6. Okay, so this is now a sub 6 is equals to 480 for the first term. r is negative 1 half. And the n is equals to 6. So what is 6 minus 1? 6 minus 1 is actually 5. Then next here is to solve for the negative 1 half to the power of 5. So 1 to the power of 5 is simply equals to 1, while 2 to the power of 5 is 32. So this is actually 1 over 32 and our sign still negative because our exponent is an odd. So this is now 480 times 1 over negative 32 or negative 1 over 32. So next here is we are going to 
multiply 480 by the negative 1. So 480 divided uh, times negative 1 is negative 480 divided by 32 is simply negative 15. So the a sub 6 from the given here or the value for the a sub 6 is actually the negative 15. Okay, so we'll proceed to the another application, which is how do we find the first term from the given information of the geometric sequence? So say for example, I have a sub 7, which is 2916, while r is equals to 3. Okay, so here from the given info since a sub 7 this will automatically or the 7 here will be our n the value for our n so next is we will use the geometric sequence formula a sub n is equals to a sub 1 r n minus 1 so take note our a sub 7 becomes our a sub n then r we have 3 and the n is equals to 7. So retain the a sub 1 because that is the one that we are going to solve. So you now have 296 for the a sub n, while r is 3 and n is 7. So what is 7 minus 1? What is 7 minus 1? That is actually 6. So next here is we are going to Okay, solve 3 to the power of 6. What is 3 to the power of 6? And that is equals to 729. That is simply multiplying 3, 6 times. So next here, for us to cancel the 7 to 9, we are going to divide both sides by 729. So with this means, we are gonna, we can now cancel the 700. 29. So our a sub 1 is what is our a sub 1? 2916 divided by 729 is equals to 4. So the first term of the given geometric sequence or from this given info is actually equals to 4. Okay, so let's have another example. This time, you have a sub 5, which is 8. a sub 7 is equals to 32, but take note, we don't have the value for the r. So in this case, we are going to assume. Assume a sub 5 as our first term and a sub 7 as the last term okay so a sub 1 becomes a okay so uh, the a sub 5 becomes a sub 1 and the a sub 7 is a sub n so take note from 5 to 7 that is 5 6 7 our n is equals to 3 because there are only three terms we are considering only a5, A6, A7. So our n is 3. For us to solve for the value of our r. So now using the geometric sequence formula, solving for the r, assuming that A sub n is 32, your A sub 1 is 8, and the n is 3. So you have there 32, 8, and n is 3. So 3 minus 1 is 2. So next here, for us to cancel 8 here, we divide both sides by 8. So now we can now cancel 8. So 32 divided by 8 is 4. So that is 4 equals to r squared. To cancel out the squared here for the r is we are going to get the square root. So this time, we can now cancel the exponent 2. So what retains is the r. And what is the square root of 4? Square root of 4 is actually 2. So our r 
is 2. So this time we will now solve for the first term. So using now the original given that the a sub 7 is 32. So 32. Okay. So solving for the a sub 1, a sub 7 becomes our last term, 32. This time, so the r is 2, and our n is simply equals to 7, because this a sub 7. And using the formula, substituting the a sub n, the r, and the n here, so a sub n is actually, so we do have 32, while r is 2, and the n is 7. So first is do this, okay, do the exponent, the 7 minus 1 is equals to 6. So then, what is 2 to the power of 6? 2 to the power of 6 is 64. To cancel out 64, we divide both sides by 64. So now we can cancel out 64. What retains here is the a sub 1. So what is the value of a sub 1? So what is 32 divided by 64? 32 divided by 64 is actually 1 half. So therefore, the first term from the given um, a sub 5 is 8 and a sub 7 is 32. The value for the a sub 1 is equals to 1 half. So, thank you. Hope to see you soon. God bless.